All right, so we're back with another Friday video, and today we're gonna continue our conversation from last week and talk about how to just be friends with your spouse. Okay, so last week I shared this book, And Baby Makes Three, by Dr. John and Julie Gottman, and the research that they have conducted all about uh, what happens to marriages once a baby comes on the scene. Surprisingly, or maybe not, over 60% of the couples that they did research on were having a really hard time even three years after their baby was born. And although that might give us some validation for how we're feeling and how difficult it is to adjust to being parents, there also was really great data from the rest of the couples who seemed to be able to navigate it um, a lot smoother. And one of the things that these couples were doing was protecting their friendship with each other. And how do you do that? when you're busy and you have no extra income and you're just stressed and, and overwhelmed and sleep deprived. Well, they found out three ways that these couples were doing it um, that was manageable and sustainable and just kind of were infused into their day-to-day -day lives together. So if you hadn't had a chance to check out last week's video, which is the first in this series, you can go here. I'll put a link uh, there and I'll also put one in the description box below. And so what is tip number two for this week it is the three A's appreciation affection and admiration simple so these couples didn't seem to be doing anything um, big or grandiose they were just infusing these ideas into their day-to-day -day interactions so what would that look like okay so appreciation well that one's a little bit easier just say thanks and acknowledge what your spouse is doing even if you expect them to do it or um, when they do something they're actually helping themselves honey thanks for getting the kids in the bath today or thanks for paying my phone bill or thanks for filling out this school form that I've forgotten to and is almost late thanks for the snuggle this morning it was really nice mm, thanks for the phone call thanks for your reassurance thanks for your love there's unlimited amount of thanks you can do during the day especially when you have young kids oh and I forgot the most important thank you thank you for letting me sleep in oh. so affection well that one you know it could be lots of things like a pat on the shoulder or holding hands in public or a nice reassuring touch in the car, a hug, a kiss, um, arm on the shoulder, anything affectionate. So nice. And last but not least, and I don't even know what that means, but everyone says it, admiration. And I had to look this up in the dictionary. I am not ashamed to admit it. And it is a strong feeling of approval or delight with someone or something. So dear husband, I strongly approve that you are in my life. So just inject a little bit of this and a little bit of that into your day-to-day -day life and not only will you be increasing your happiness, your spouse's happiness, your children's happiness, but basically the whole friggin' world's happiness. So shout it out with me. Appreciation, admiration, affection. Appreciation, admiration, affection. Thank you for joining me today. And I will see you next week for the last in the series of how you can grow your friendship with your spouse without having to have time away from the kids or find a babysitter or find money to have an elaborate expensive date night or do some complicated exercise that makes your brain hurt. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.